What's up guys? Uh, just give you guys a quick tip. Um, line cutting, tackle management, uh, hook removal. Let's get started. So the first option I have for, for <clears throat> line cutting, it's really the cheapest. Uh, I'm going to try to go from cheapest to most expensive, uh, both for the line cutting and then for the hook removal. All right. Um, fingernail clippers. All right. You can get a set of two for like two bucks at your dollar store. Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Walmart, someplace like that. Uh, moving up, scissors, right? I got a tiny pair of scissors here. Um, so the good thing about scissors is that they have no problem cutting braid, right? Funeral clippers tend to struggle a little bit cutting braid, okay? <clears throat> um, scissors are also good because you can get down close to knots, like an improved clinch where your tag end doesn't need to be that long. Um you know, get down and cut it real close to the knot. Uh, moving on up, fishing pliers. Okay, this is a set of Placino fishing pliers. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I'll try to leave a description or a link down in the description for you. Uh, what's cool about these guys is that they have a, a split ring hook, right? It lets you take your split rings off your crankbaits, um, spinner baits, you know, anything that has a split ring on it, this can help you take it off or adjust it, right? Let's say you replace your treble hook, something like that. Uh, the next good thing is they're, they're needle nose pliers, right? For hook removal, <clears throat> okay? Um, you have crimpers down here, right? You've got line crimpers or weight crimpers, not line crimpers, weight crimpers or anything you need to crimp. You can do that down here, okay? Then you have line cutters, right? Right here. Okay, what's good about these is they do not have a problem cutting braid. <clears throat> um, I've cut anything from, you know, 20 pound mono to 17 pound fluoro, 20 pound braid, and then six pound mono, right? They cut everything. All right, moving over to the hook removal side. Okay, you've got a pair of, you can use needle nose pliers, right? The only thing about this is it's, they rust very easy, right? I got these from Dollar General for like $6, I think. It was pretty cheap. Uh, forceps. Okay, got a pair of angle forceps here. Those work good too. Um, the only bad thing about these is they're they're they don't lock very well, right? They're pretty pretty loosey goosey. Okay, so moving on to my favorite option for hook removal is a pair of hemostats, right? And the reason these are good is because they're long and they lock. Okay, so <clears throat> the reason I like them, right? Let's say you have a, a hook down in the in the gullet of a of a large mouth. Right, and it's a smaller large mouth, so you can't get your fingers down in there, right? Or something that's big and clunky like this, you can fit this down in there just fine, right? And then once you lock down on that hook, it ain't going nowhere, right? So that's that's the best option I, I suggest for for hook removal is a pair of hemostats. Uh, if you guys like the like the tips I gave you today, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment below video you guys you'd like me to put out or any questions you guys have uh let's grow together all right thanks bye